In its court challenge of the ANC's CADA deployment policy, the DA has argued that the policy is unconstitutional. Its lawyers are contending that a political party, according to the law, may not recommend appointments to the public service, as the apex law of the country requires that the civil service be professional and free from political interference. The party's lawyers refer to the Zondo Commission's finding on the policy. Now, obviously that's not binding, and obviously the analysis is not binding. But we recommend the analysis, and we align ourselves with the analysis and the, the description and analysis of the law, and we emphasize law. The DA is asking the court to declare the policy unconstitutional and unlawful. The ANC, however, opposed the application, arguing that the DA seeks to limit the ANC's right to freedom of expression. The ANC can say what it likes about who it would like in office. And any political party can say who it would like in political office. And what the DA is trying to do is to limit the rights of political parties, including itself. The country has been plunged into rolling blackouts, which don't seem to be near its end. The DA has attributed the crisis seen at state-owned entities such as ESCOM to the CADA deployment policy. When probed on the DA's sole focus on the ANC, DA leader John Steenhuisen had the following to say. I think both Minister Mantashi and Minister Godon should step out of the way, and we've been very clear about that. In relation to Mr. Dorator, my position from the beginning has been clear. It doesn't matter who you put into that position, they're going to fail, because the model of a state-owned electricity provider is the wrong model. You could put Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, uh, Jack Ma in charge of Eskim, it will still end up failing. And until we change that model, until we break up Eskim, until we allow independent power producers, until we allow the private sector to step in, it doesn't matter who's going to be there because the vehicle is wrong. It's like you know, taking a well-trained donkey to the Durban July and expecting it to win the race. Of course it's not. The matter continues on Tuesday. Kani Mapanga, SABC News, Pretoria.